Hi, my name is Nisha Patel, and I'm Managing Director of SMA Portfolio Management for Parametric Fixed Income Group in New York City. I'm here today to give you a 2023 fixed income market outlook. As of this video, 2022 was the worst year for bonds in more than a century. We're hopeful, however, that 2023 will be a transition year, where we see a comeback of positive returns, a reduction in volatility, and a return of high-quality bonds once again providing diversification benefits. In short, we see 2023 as a year where the market gets back to basics. And our vision of back to basics can be summed up with the three R's, all relevant in fixed income investing, recession, rates, and returns. So now let's explore each. Recession. As rate hikes impact the economy, the data is indicating that the growth has slowed. While it's possible that the Fed may still achieve that soft landing, there's a growing expectation among market participants that the U.S. could slip into recession in early 2023. Though we think that that recession is a distinct possibility that early in the year, more importantly, the depth and the duration of the recession will be influenced by the Fed, which brings us to the next R, rates. We know that the Fed is committed to bringing inflation down. The funds rate move in the past 11 months has had an effect as we're seeing progress in data. However, inflation remains uncomfortably high. In 2023, the markets are expecting the Fed to pivot from a tightening monetary policy to a neutral stance once the terminal rate hits 5%. Any signs of a disinflationary trend may likely result in a decline in yields further out the curve. Return. Intermediate municipal and corporate bond yields are close to their highest levels since 2008 credit crisis. Corporate yield increases have more than kept up with inflation expectations, nearly tripling since the beginning of the year on an intermediate bond to 5.4%. On the municipal bond side, a top bracket payer can get a taxable equivalent yield of 6% on a 5-15 to 15 year triple B muni ladder nationally. And for a New York City client in the same tax bracket, that taxable equivalent yield on an A-rated state-specific portfolio is over 7.5%. In short, bonds are back. Importantly, the rise in yields was not due to credit concerns. For both municipal and corporate issuers, fundamentals remain healthy. However, we believe that doing the credit homework will be important in both markets entering recession, but opportunities will be plenty. We expect that 2023 will be a year of positive returns for bonds. Treasury yields can seem compelling, but as noted earlier, corporate yields have more than kept pace. And while muni ratios have recently tightened, for top tax bracket payers, they provide a more attractive taxable equivalent yield, particularly outside of 10 years. Given the yields available today, conservative investors should consider a shorter duration A-rated one to five year ladder, while more risk tolerance investors may want to lock in yields and extend out longer. For corporate investors, this might mean a one to 10 year triple B portfolio. And for municipal investors, this might mean a five to 15 year or even a 10 to 20 year ladder. Lastly, 2022 was a year of significant losses. However, when used as part of a strategy and opportunistically leveraged for tax loss harvesting, there can be an incredible add of tax alpha for clients. And we believe the ability to leverage ongoing tax loss harvesting and other features of active management will look to enhance client returns in fixed income portfolios into 2023. That wraps up our 2023 fixed income outlook. Thank you for your time today.